Okay, so next step is to actually paint our skin texture. So to paint the skin texture, uh, we need to first off um, open a new window. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a new window. And we're going to change this to the node editor. Now I want to go ahead and you can either go to the materials tab and hit new or hit new from here directly. And then I want to go ahead and add in a new texture, which will be the image texture. So shift A texture, image texture. Connect that to the, well, the diffuse. Uh, and the image I want to use is a new image from the canvas. So go ahead in the image editor now and create new image. Uh, I want to go ahead and create a 4096 by 4096, which is 4K resolution, I guess. And I want to call this one the skin texture. And let's just leave it black and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we have a 4K image for which we will paint our skin texture on. Then in the um, node editor, also go ahead and add in the skin texture. So don't have to press open or anything, just go ahead directly and hit skin texture. Okay, cool. And I'm going to go ahead and name this material skin. Perfect. So another little setup that we need to do is we probably need to add in a light source. So shift A, lamp. Let's just add in a, I guess a sunlight to start off with. Let's make it a, a slight yellowish tinge. And let's just have a look at what that looks like in rendered view. Okay, it looks black because um, at the moment the character has just the black texture that we just assigned. And now we're pretty much ready to start uh, texturing our character. So, cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's tap into edit mode now. I can sort of move this away because it's not so important. Let's move this to a side. Uh, let's make all of this a little smaller as well. Uh, we can start to, so that we can have a, more of a real estate to paint our skin texture. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and turn off the rig. So if I just quickly go over here and turn off rig, I can see our character much better. Okay, to start texturing your character, we need to go into texture paint mode. So change from object mode to texture paint mode and you'll see your texture being applied straight away. So now uh, we have all these tools to start um, coloring our character, or in other words, painting our character. So these brushes are generally quite straightforward. So the first thing I want to do is I want to fill our character with a base color. But before I do any painting at all, uh, just quickly go over to options and change from the, the bleed value from two pixels to let's say 20. Uh, what bleed means is uh, for example, if I quickly just go now and change uh, to fill to uh, some texture like that and just click our character, you can see that it's painted our texture on our character and uh, on our actual map uh, where you see the boundary line. So I guess it's not so clear here. Uh, maybe I need to make the strength one and undo that. Okay, now you can see much clearer you can see that it's bleeded the edges past the boundary line. So if I, for example, went to options and did the original two and then uh, painted, uh, you can see that the, the bleeding edge is a little bit closer to the boundary line. Now that can be a little bit um, uh, problematic uh, later on if, if this value is too low because it means you'll start to see the, the seams much more clearer in your texture. So when you add a bleed value, you let the texture paint a little bit off the border so that the seams won't be as visible. We have a base color of that to start with. So it's just a very light yellow, uh, which should be a good base mesh to start with. And from here on in, I'm going to go ahead and use a texture mask. So go ahead and hit new texture mask and let's name this one uh, skin pores. After this, you literally need to go to Google and just grab some free skin pore alpha texture packs. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my um, skin pore alpha. So to do that, once you name the skin pores, uh, go uh, into the properties window and change to texture tab and change from image texture to the one that you created called skin pores. And I'm just going to go ahead and open my skin pore uh, image. Okay, so now I've put it in my skin pore alpha over here. 
I can now change over to texture draw and I might make the strength of the, this to something like 0.2. I'm going to use a Wacom tablet to paint. So this value may vary depending on the amount of pressure sensitivity that I apply onto the tablet. If you don't have a drawing tablet of any kind, you can still follow along and paint. You just use your own mouse. But a Wacom tablet will allow much more, uh, much more control, more artistic freedom, and just much better details overall. So now I want to go ahead and paint in uh, the other details of the face. So I'm not going to really explain much about how the skin works, but I'm just going to uh, paint a palette of skin textures. You can follow Yan Sculpts. He f teaches a technique on how to create a palette of skin, a realistic skin. Uh, but for my purpose, I'm not going to go too much into that kind of detail. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, add this manually. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in a pinkish skin tone. Um, I'm also going to maybe add in a darkish red, like so, and maybe a bit of a light or maybe also a darkish blue. Um, and I'm going to the same white that I did earlier, but a little bit more brighter. Yeah, something like that would be a good start. Okay, so let's start with the pinkish tone. And with texture draw, I'm just going to turn down the size a little. Let's start to draw in a little bit of a pinkness around the character's eyes. I know it looks a little bit sick, but trust me, when you add the textures, it generally starts to even itself out. Um, I'm also going to add in maybe a little bit of redness around the nose. Maybe some, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the color to maybe a bit darker red on the cheeks. a little messy there so I'll go ahead and maybe soften this area okay so now for the lips let's put uh, a darkish red and generally for the lips I, I tend to keep it quite subtle if it's male lips I don't tend to show too much uh, redness there female lips can we can put in a little bit more prominent red, but I just tend to keep it very, very subtle for a male's one. Okay, I'm not going to focus uh, much on the rest of the body. It's going to be covered in clothing. So maybe I might just hint at fingernails if you like, but otherwise I'm not going to focus too much on that. Due to the length of the tutorial and also the fact that we're going to put clothing over the top of our character, I'm not going to be really covering the painting of the rest of the body. Okay. So as you can see, we can keep doing this forever, but as for the skin, as far as the skin texture goes, uh, generally I'm quite happy with that. So you can go ahead now and um, add in uh, any other detail that you wish. So for example, if you want to add in little pimples, uh, I'd go ahead and turn off that texture. Sorry, just turn it off. Uh, and then we'll choose uh, sort of a pink, choose that pink and then maybe a little bit darker. I literally just paint in little, little pimples here and there. We'll also turn off symmetry. For the, for pimples, it's generally quite random. Keep in mind that when it comes to character creation, imperfection is generally the new perfect. So that is the skin texture that I'll be going for. We need to go ahead and save this skin texture. So I'm going to go ahead and go uh, save uh, image, save as image, and just save it somewhere that you will, uh, that you want to keep it. So go ahead now and change this from just the normal skin texture to uh, your actual file that you just saved. Just like that. And now you will use the actual image. 
So it looks something like that. Cool. So next thing we need to do is we need to add in the bumps because this character looks fairly boring without bumps. So um, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go back to the UV image editor and let's go ahead and create a new image. 49.6 by 49.6 is fine and I want to call this one the bump. Okay, so this will be a brand new one and again I'm going to follow uh, Yan Sculpt's uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in a new image texture. I'm going to also add in a vector bump node and put the color into the height and from the normal just put it into the normal of the diffuse map and uh, we're going to use straight away the bump. Okay, um, I don't know why it's turned the character black but anyways that's what we'll be using for now. So if I just select the character and then just re-plug in the surface you'll see that it's using the um, the actual skin texture of the character. If I select the bump and then re-plug in, it changes to black. What I want to do is I want to create a new palette. So let's say this one as the skin palette. I want to go ahead and create, close this one and create a brand new one. And this is going to simply be a black. So this is Yan Sculpt's tutorial. I recommend you check out his tutorial. Uh, it's very useful. So I want to change this to complete halfway so gray gray and I'm going to just hit plus so select the gray one and go over to the fill tool and just fill that with just gray it's filled with color it's not what I expected because I didn't select the gray and now select, uh, fill that up so we have a fully gray texture on our model okay so that's looking good. Now I'm just going to quickly change this over to the skin texture uh, and then re sorry then re plug that in. Oh sorry I needed to change this one from texture to the material viewing port so that's why I didn't see that properly so if I just go back now and plug this one back in here turn this one off and put this into the, uh, the normal then refresh it, select like this one. Now we can see the bump being applied. So, let me. So as I rephrased earlier, just keep it the way you did as before. The main issue I found is because this was on the wrong mode. It was in texture mode. It should be in material mode. Because the final thing I want to see is the material. And when you want to switch between material, so if you want to start painting the skin texture, just select the image texture of the skin, and then just refresh this one, and then start painting, and then it will affect the skin texture. If you want to go back to the bump. Select the bump image texture, then refresh this one, and then paint, and it will affect the bump texture. So that's how it will work. So to see how things will work, I now have the black color. When you paint black, the mapping will uh, create an indent into the character. That's if you select black. If you select white, the uh, mapping will create a um, mapping that sort of appears to come out of the character. So to demonstrate that better, I'm going to go ahead and add in a texture mask, a new one. And I'm going to call this one skin. And let's go into the texture panel over here. So for the skin, I'm not going to use an image or movie. I'm just going to go straight and use the cloud skin texture. So let's turn off smooth stroke. So you can sort of see what it looks like. Um, so if I paint that with my pen, I'm also going to turn the strength down quite a bit. You can see it being applied. I guess just keep painting more and more. Just go solid and just keep painting it so that. Okay, so now I'm just going in and painting areas where the skin pores will be. So you can see that change being applied. Let's have a look at that, what that looks like when rendered. That doesn't look too good. Oh, too much. So let's turn on the strength 
as you can see when you look at it when rendered it's too much so you just ch change the strength to 0.1 until it looks quite subtle there we go we can see we can see everything looking very subtle on our character so I might go, go ahead and just go overall and paint paint this pause all over our character generally in areas where it's most prominent Perfect, so the bump is coming through nicely. So generally take some time and try to paint out uh, areas. I feel like it can be a little bit more subtle but actually I'm not going to make it more subtle because uh, I'm now going to add the skin shader itself. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.